Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. So today we have this Asus Trix RTX 2080 Ti and uh, this card is coming for memory upgrades. So the user of this card wants to upgrade from uh, 11 gigabytes to 22 gigabytes. So this is not just uh, the only card. We also have another card. And let me show it to you here. So this is the second card and both these cards require an upgrade. So we are going to upgrade uh, both the cards. So in this video, we are only going to go through uh, this card and uh, we are going to do the upgrades. So before we do that, I will first put this card on the test bench and uh, show you what exactly this card looks like uh, before the upgrade. So let me put this card on the on the test bench and uh, show you the image from there. Okay, so the card is on the test bench. Let's boot this thing up. So we have an image. So let's put into Windows and we'll continue from there. Okay, so uh, let's open up GPU Z and uh, we'll take a look at the memory first. GPU Z is opening up. Okay, so we can see here that we have 11 gigabytes and we are using Samsung. So uh, we already have Samsung. Everything else looks good here. This card is working normal. So we are, I'm going to shut this thing down and uh, take this back onto my workbench and uh, we'll continue from there. Let me shut the PC down. We are done here. Okay, so the card is on our workbench. Uh, let's open this card up and uh, we'll take a look inside. So uh, we have removed the cooler and uh, the card looks pretty decent, uh, just a little bit of dirt at the back but otherwise this card is pretty good. Um, let's take a look under the microscope and uh, let's check the memory. So the memory that we are using is uh, K4Z. 80325BC and it's a 14 14 gigabyte uh, 14 gigabit memory and uh, what we are going to switch into is let me uh, just turn this around let's take a look okay um K4ZAF325BM 
and again this is the hc14 gigabit uh, per second memory so let's take this thing out okay so uh it's time to go ahead and replace the memory let me turn on the preheater so the set temperature is uh, set at 120 degrees so uh just in case if you're planning to buy this preheater avoid it this is really not a good preheater i would not recommend this preheater to be used for this uh, i purchased this one but uh, it, it's not that effective so i would uh, recommend not to buy this one
Okay, so the memories have been replaced. Uh, let me turn this thing off and get rid of this. So the board is pretty hot. So I'm just going to put this board uh, at the side, uh, wait for it to cool down because it's uh, very toasty. So I'll just put this uh, board at the side, wait for it to cool down and we'll continue once it's nice and cold. Okay, so the board has cooled down and uh, let's take some resistance let's measure the resistance on the memory so it's always uh, important to measure the resistance once we uh, you know go ahead and do any replacement of modules okay so we have about 18 ohms 18 ohms is uh, good uh, for samson so uh, now it's time to change the straps uh, let's take a look at the straps let me switch over to the microscope. Okay, so uh, this is where the straps are. Okay, now the current setup is all low. So because this is using Samsung, so Samsung 8 gigabit modu modules, uh, the strap is all low. So that's uh, strap 1, strap 0, and here we have strap 2. So they're all set to low. Now, what we need to do is we need to change these to high, high, and low. That's strap two at high, strap one at high, and strap zero at low. So that's the configuration for this model. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the straps have been changed and uh, we now have it at high, high and low. So let's go ahead and clean this board a bit. There's a lot of flux everywhere. Let's get rid of this flux. Let's, I'm using isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, that's 99%. So let me just clean this board a bit. So I'm going to use my magic cloth. Just get rid of this excess flux. Let's sun down here as well. 
So let's get rid of this. I think that looks pretty good. Just a little bit and we are done. So the board is nice and clean. Okay, it's uh, time to put this uh, GPU on a test bench and uh, just run mats again and check if it passes. Let's do that. So our card is on the bench. Let's boot this thing up. So I'm going to run match first uh, just to make sure that uh, you know we don't have any failed memory or our installation of uh, the, or the replacement is proper. Everything looks good. We don't have any artifacts. That means our installation. There you go. We have a pass. Let me shut this thing down and uh, boot into Windows. Shutting it down now. Let me boot into Windows. So I've interchanged the drive and I've replaced the fan. So just some extra air on to the core. So just to keep it uh, cool. I'm booting into Windows now. Okay, so we are in Windows. Let's uh, open up GPU Z and check if it now shows 22 gigabytes. Okay, so there you go. It now shows 22 gigabytes and everything else looks to be okay. So I think that's it. Let me shut this thing down, install the cooler and we'll continue from there.
Okay, so our cooler has been installed. We've replaced the memory pads and uh, put in some new fresh paste. So let's put this card back on our test bench and this time we are going to stress test this card and check if our card is stable. So let's put this thing up. Booting to Windows now. Okay, so there you go, we are in Windows. Let's open GPU Z again. Okay, there you go, it's opening up now. Let's uh, wait for the GPU Z application to open there you go it's open and uh, as you see we can now see 22 gigabytes let's take a look at the sensors sensors all looking good let's open firmark and let's run this test okay it's holding up well so I'm going to let this run for another 15 or 20 minutes or so and see if this card is stable. But I don't see any artifacts, so that's a good sign. So uh, what do you think about this repair? Um, you know, do you think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a good choice to go ahead and upgrade a 2080 Ti uh, from 11 gigabytes to 22? So if, if you ask me, uh, if uh, this card was to be used for gaming i really wouldn't recommend because uh, 22 gigabytes on a 2080 ti really wouldn't cut it so the, the gpu core is going to fall short long before it can even utilize that kind of memory but uh, in in terms of uh, you know artificial intellect in intelligence or uh, you know uh, mining or something like that well i am not an expert on that so i really wouldn't know but you can share your thoughts and uh, you know put them out in the comment section let me know what you think about uh, 22 gigabytes on a 2080 ti is it uh, useful for any other productivity uh, you know applications do let me know uh, share your thoughts in the comment section i do make sure that i reply to all comments so don't hold yourself back and uh, go ahead and fill in those comments so i think that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you do like it please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this uh, you know i do intend or do plan to look at other cards as well to upgrade some memory but uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you get notified when some new content is uh, uploaded so thank you for watching you have a good day bye for now cheers